Collective. How are you guys? We're doing good. Evie's under the desk. <laughs> Say hi, Collective. <laughs> she's so cute. She's hiding under the desk, laying on her little pillow. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here, for spending time with me. I hope that you'll like and share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for everything that you do. And thank you for the time that you spend with me watching my content. Thank you for your donations. Thank you to my channel members. Thank you guys so much. I love you so much so so much and i just appreciate everything that you do thank you i wouldn't be here without you guys thank you so much let's tap in let's see what's going on with spirit okay a woman holding a coin is on the bottom of the deck so we got action so somebody's getting ready to take some action towards something and then we got a man oh a man holding a coin so this could be a couple here that could be getting ready to come in here so a man holding a coin is getting ready to take action they've been thinking a lot about this we've got the thinking man and we've got the angel of strength here so <laughs> i keep seeing lions and <laughs> there's Leo could be significant or the chariot could be significant which is cancer energy somebody's getting ready to be very envious whenever this uh, couple comes together here okay we've got a storm warning brewing because somebody's getting ready to go on a journey and uh, gonna be very appreciative of this journey that's coming in and this this new union here that's coming in so kind of going along with my last reading so it looks like we're getting ready to have more of this unfold okay so there's been some kind of an attachment to a door to value here someone could have um, placed an entity over your finances but whatever this attachment is that's been blocking you to your door to value um, it is being removed and Archangel Uriel is here. So this is your crown chakra. This is divine source energy ushering this in for you. And you're thinking about this. So that's why we've got a man holding a coin, a woman holding a coin. And the thinking man and the thinking woman. So you're thinking of each other. You're manifesting each other. And it's bringing in the door to romance and the door to value. <laughs> that's so good and you're getting ready to walk away from what no longer serves you and you're getting ready to go on a journey a storm is coming in and um, in my last reading you're going to be moved away from this so this storm can hit tell me about this action clarify action A firm foundation and a new beginning. So you're getting ready to go towards having a firm foundation. I think four of pentacles energy and a new beginning. Wow. And then the crown chakra again. So spirit is ushering in this, this new beginning for you. Here's the empress here. I've got empress energy and death you've gone through a powerful transformation and you are uh, uh, powerfully manifesting and co-creating with the divine here with the solar plexus you're very powerful right now and you have powerful intuition here with the high priestess and your spiritual strength is uh, is out of this world okay your wishes are getting ready to be fulfilled by the universe wow spirit and the sacral chakra here this is going to be a a very passionate new beginning and with the ba the balance here this is justice I'm gonna have justice divine justice is coming in wow clarify this man holding a coin your guides are ushering in action towards something that has been hindering you and the universe is opening the door to value to you any attachments that were there are getting ready to be removed we've got triumph here which is chariot energy third eye chakra 
using your intuition high priestess high priest energy moving on to, to something better here prosperity begins the ace of pentacles this is definitely going on with my going along with my last reading oh wow okay this is wild spirit i have all these decks out here tell me about this thinking man to thinking about this man thinking about This man is powerful. This man is very powerful. And they're getting ready to transform something in your life that is going to fulfill your wishes. Hmm. This person is very aware of your strength as this empress here. Under the angel of strength and how loving and beautiful your heart is and how strong you are spiritually and how powerful you are in your spirit and how powerful your intuition is and wow under envy we've got disruption here with the tower that's the storm coming in they're envious because this tower's coming in about envy in the tower here. Here if I envy in the tower. Something that was hidden in under the moon here with deception and illusions, trickery. They're envious because you're getting ready to start fulfilling your destiny here. We've got patience with temperance here with earth angels. You're an earth angel here. And we've got judgment with the truth coming out. And the eight of pentacles here. Positive movement forward. Clarify this woman holding a coin, spirit. Accelerated motion. The eight of wands. So something quick is getting ready to transform. This could be a job opportunity even. Uh, something that you do for work that did come out in my last reading that a new uh, career opportunity could be coming forward here tell me more about this woman holding a coin in accelerated motion so the waiting game and sacrifice which is the hanged man here and the two of wands so planning a whole new path you speak your truth could have something to do with communication and wow love begins with the ace of cups and the ace of swords someone's coming in offering a, a truthful unconditionally loving union wow and you've been waiting a long time for this clarify this storm warning oh goodness collective this is awesome. Tell me more about this storm warning spirit. You're moving on. This came out in my last reading. This partnerships and alliances. You're moving on with this authority figure with this emperor here. And three three of pentacles here. You're going to be working with and collaborating with this person. And you're going to have recognition and reward. And you're overcoming this heartache and loss with this Three of Swords energy. And you're going to be in the Six of Wands with uh, victory and success over this. And you're being moved away. You're, mo you're being moved out of this storm. Could be um, in solitude. 
may have to go into hiding on this journey here. Hmm. Clarify journey. This is an authority figure here or um, a father figure. An emperor energy could be getting ready to get sucked up into this storm here and they could be drowning in their emotions. Could feel like a tornado has come in and wrecked their life for whatever collaboration they were with. On journey, we have the sacral chakra and harmony, which is the lovers. Wow. So you're getting ready. This person has been patiently planning on how to come towards you. <laughs> To take you on this journey. Oh goodness. And this is a hierophant here. With wisdom. And this could even be like a marriage. This could be something going on in the courts. With judgment. <laughs> goodness. Well you're going to appreciate this. Clarify appreciation. Clarify appreciation. Oh, wow. You're going to appreciate this earth angel here that's truthful and unconditionally loving. Wow. And that's how this person sees you, that you're an earth angel and truthful and unconditionally loving. <laughs> oh, and you're going to have balance with this justice angel here. Oh, how sweet. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Like to me, girl. Oh, please don't scratch mommy's legs, Evie. No, baby. Don't scratch your mom. She's going, Mommy. <laughs> Why, darling? I got excited. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, Evie. Hi. Say hi, guys. <laughs> so I wanted to say hi. I want to see what's so exciting. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, there's an emperor coming. Oh, great. <laughs> He's your girl. Yeah, I wanted to be excited too, guys. I want to. I want to read. Yeah, I want to read the cards. Okay, you ready to wrap your mommy's reading? I gotta lay you down. Okay, come over here and be good. Stop scratching mommy's legs. Okay. <laughs> She's so funny. I'll say so. She'll feel my energy whenever I get excited about things. And then she thinks something's wrong with me. And then she'll start pawing at me. Because she's wanting to console me. Because she can tell that there's been a shift in my energy. So, And if I say wow. It's a trigger word for her now all of a sudden. This has just been going on for about a week now. And it's making me crazy. Because I didn't realize how much I said wow. Until this has started happening. <laughs> Clarify attachment spirit. <laughs> She's attached to mommy. Clarify attachment spirit. What is this attachment about? Memories of love. Six of cups. So attached to the past. Childhood memories, family, letting it go, releasing it with love. Yeah, the universe and the devil here with temptation. So releasing any unhealthy attachments, any releasing any uh, addictions, obsessions with anything. You've gone in, you've been in hermit mode here. You're healing and you're releasing all of those attachments. And what that's done is open this door to value here. Clarify the door to value. And you've got your mind right. Your money's in good shape. Or it's getting ready to be. If it's not yet, it's it's coming. Clarify door to value. Choose wisely. So. And this is also like celebrating a lot of new opportunities coming in. A lot of choices are coming in. And, uh. You're going to be able to rest and rejuvenate. That's the Seven of Cups. And this is the Four of Swords. So meditating. You're healing your body. You've been suffering in silence here with the Nine of Swords. But you're coming out of that. We've got the Ace of Wands here. And your passion is igniting. As you're coming into a whole new energy here. With this sort of value opening. Wow. 
Give me one more for door to value. Power. Wow. And the Two of Cups with strength. So, and here's this Leo lion again. I keep seeing lions. I'm telling you, this person that's coming in could definitely possibly be a Leo. <laughs> but this beautiful Two of Cups, unconditionally loving union, and, and Archangel Uriel, your guys are helping usher this in. <laughs> They're helping you usher this in. Tell me more about the crown chakra here with Archangel Uriel. We got the Hierophant. So God is all over this. The divine is blessing this. This could be the courts. This could be marriage. And we got the heart chakra. Oh goodness. With this passion igniting. You're going to have a beautiful sex life. <laughs> You're going to have an amazing sex life. But a lot of new beginnings and passions are are going on. Oh, the inside of my ear is itching like crazy. Okay. Clarify. Whoa. Dis I was going to say disruption. So you're ha you've been having to have a lot of strength and persevere through something that it's like you've finally gotten over this massive freaking mountain here and uh, there's some kind of huge obstacle that's getting ready to come towards uh, this envious person that's been operating in in the shadow side of the being creating disruptions this person's broken they're full of disappointment heartbreak and disillusionment something serious is getting ready to change in their life Tell me more about the tower. What's going on with the tower? This person's recalling memories. It's the Six of Cups past energy here. And the pendulum. Reincarnation, rhythm, and certainty. So this is something that's been going on lifetime after lifetime. And a judgment. They're under judgment here. Getting ready to have a confrontation with someone, possibly in some conflict. So that's what the storm is coming in. There's comparison that's going on. Um, whatever this job opportunity is here, you're competent. You meet the requirements. You're up to the tasks and challenges ahead. And this tower, something... This came out my last reading. Now, hastily and immediately. Right this second. Gotta go. And this person is loyal. They're coming in to help aid you in some way. And we have judgment again. Um, this person is is dedicated. This tower is bringing a lot of fear. Uh, they're fearing the unknown. Someone's uneasy about what's getting ready to transpire. They're in a very dark place right now. Do not approach the collective. Keep your distance and do not harm the collective. You're getting ready to go on an adventure. So have courage as you go into the unknown. It's going to be thrilling. <laughs> it's going to be thrilling. You may be extremely exhausted. You need a break. You've been having to rest and heal <laughs> with this four of swords over here. You're an enterprising spirit here. You're getting ready to go on a whole new, um, whole new path here, and a whole new beginning. You're going to have a lot of passion igniting. You're going to have unconditional love here coming in. You're releasing the past, which no longer serves you. You have harmonious relationships with this partnership and alliances. This could be colleagues. This could be new friends. Your soul family coming in. But you're going to have um, a whole new pursuit that you're going on. And you're going to be able to achieve your goals. We've got a King of Wands energy here that's a master. They're very skilled. They're very charismatic. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, again, you're going to be very happy and content <laughs> when this person comes in and extremely satisfied. This person could be like on security detail for you and be very protective over you. And here it is again. 
moving you away in silence. It has to be confidential and private where you're going. I'm hearing you're, no one's going to, uh, you can't disclose your location is what I'm hearing. Some kind of negotiation going on regarding a conflict that uh, the storm is bringing in. Hmm. There were contradictions. Contradictions that happened. Okay. <clears throat> Had to turn the air down. I'm burning up. All right. Tell me about the storm warning, spirit. God is bringing in this storm warning because of a curse that has occurred. It is getting ready to be an absolute catastrophe and you're going to be moved out of the way because of a bunch of people who are very deceptive and full of hatred towards you. God has had it and he is bringing in a natural disaster that these people are going to have to survive of whoever has been coming against you. You're going to have triumph and success over this. It is a fated event that is getting ready to unfold. And there's going to be a lot of conflict that's going on. There's going to be a lot of difference of opinions. And you're going to receive good news here. It's going to be like a miracle has occurred and it's going to be a huge surprise. These people are furious and... Um, Someone could want to hurt you. You could be in danger. Someone could be trying to cause an accident in your life. To create an injury. Because of this magic here. And uh, they're very stressed out of what's going on here. Someone's very stressed. Someone could be sick. Someone could have a disease. Someone could be on bed rest in the hospital. They're overloaded because they're sick. Someone could be um, like at home on bed rest or something. Or someone could be in the hospital. Tell me more about the storm warning. Give me one more. Could have to do with someone's occupation. Someone could be getting ready to lose their job, lose their home. Someone's sick. Some There's definitely a backfire going on right now. God's making it so. We got the origin here, so this would be like family roots here, where the origin of the problem is this curse. They're scared to death now. Someone's paranoid. They're dealing with depression. You've prayed to God to help you, and looks like uh, you've got a new eternal love that's coming in. And this person is going to be helping you here. Wow, on the split. We got justice here. So divine justice is coming in for you, Collective, for this sweetheart here. God is balancing out a situation in your life here. So there's a resolution to the problem. You get, you've jumped over a lot of fucking hurdles. You've had to persevere a lot. And there's a whole collaboration of people here. Could be calling for backup. And you're going to be sleeping good at night. So that way you're safe. And cared for. And this is this could be a, a parent here. A family, fig, a family member. That's uh, getting ready to go down in this storm. In this tower here. Because they were trying to sacrifice you. Wow. It's 
clarify the double. Clarify the double. Page of Wands. You're getting ready to get communication about something. These people are under judgment. It's going to be something very shocking that's getting ready to happen. And something shocking has occurred from this magic and this curse. They're having a massive backfire. Clarify the devil. We got the Ace of Cups. And it came out in reverse. So... These people have no love. This entity attachment is trying to affect new love coming in for you. Affect you loving yourself. Affecting your emotions. Well, it's not going to happen because a new divine counterpart is coming in here. Whether uh, they wanted this to happen or not. And uh, the Three of Pentacles here. You're going to be collaborating with this person. It's You're going to be dedicated to this new person. There's a project. This person's determined to succeed. Page of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We've got the Ten of Cups here coming in on the split. Uh, the Magician is Gemini and Virgo. Judgment is Capricorn. Ace of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And the Three of Pentacles is Capricorn. The Ten of Cups is Pisces. It's marriage and stability, security, a happy family, a fairy tale ending, a home, and a lasting relationship is coming in. And no matter what they tried to do to block this, and with this devil here, with that kind of energy, that's going to be an amazing sex life with the Ace of Wands. So, but it can also be a contract. You could be getting into a contract, but it's going to be equal give and take. Equal reciprocity with the Six of Pentacles here. Taurus energy. Someone's going to be reaching out with options. It's going to bring balance to your life. Whoever's been trying to send out attachments with this devil energy here. They're in the Nine of Swords. Got Gemini energy. And they're going to be in the Five of Cups because of this betrayal. Scorpio energy. They're going to be suffering the loss. And very sad. Whenever uh, this tower hits. We have a Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So, a mother figure here could be going to jail or just feeling trapped and stuck. The Queen of Pentacles can also be um, a very luxurious lifestyle, being grounded and resourceful. Could be a homemaker, very organized and practical. Or a a queen of pentacles energy was a devil in your life and it was someone from your past with the six of cups they could have uh, kept you in a mental prison in a mental prison and in a state of fear and anxiety they isolated you could have uh, you may not have any communication with this person we got the tower on the split. So, a force change is getting ready to occur. It's an absolute catastrophe. It's an unforeseen event. And there's going to be a lot of, dis of destruction because of the Ace of Swords here. So, whatever these people were tempted to do to keep you in the Five of Pentacles state, the truth's coming out. There's truthful information and communication regarding this information they're going to regret this leaving you out of the cold someone's blocked there's no communication they treated you like you were an outsider the tower is Scorpio the ace of swords is Libra Gemini Aquarius and the five of pentacles is uh, Taurus well this 
t devil here has met temperance which is the earth angel here it's a spiritual warfare going on you've been very patient you've been working on your healing you have balance you're an alchemist you're, trans you're transforming in a profound way. You've got a lot of options coming in. And we've got a beautiful uh, Empress Earth Angel energy here. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energy here. And uh, you're getting ready to be victorious over what all this is. Temperance is Sagittarius. The Empress is Libra and Taurus. You're very abundant and you're getting ready to have a lot of stability coming in and overcoming this devil energy here but you're going to have uh, public recognition really good news coming in you could possibly have some kind of uh, fame that goes along with this and we've got the eight of pentacles here and this could be regarding a new career that's coming in the six of wands is leo and the eight of pentacles is virgo being an expert in your field and working towards an a goal, working towards a goal and being dedicated and accomplished, you're very ambitious and focused. And we've got strength here with Leo. I'm telling you, Leo is significant. <laughs> you're very brave and you're independent. This is the, this is the end of the game here. <laughs> you're very confident. You're powerful. You're regal. And it's just beautiful you've got an offer coming in here with the page of pentacles and this devil puts you in the three of swords extreme heartbreak libra energy page of pentacles is taurus virgo capricorn and uh you're gonna have a new love offer coming in here the lovers is gemini new opportunities new ideas you could be a student you could be learning new things planning something your hobbies could be um, significant you've overcome a lot of heartbreak and sadness you've been very betrayed and stabbed in the back with third party situations and leaving you in just ultimate ruin with grim endings but a new beautiful partnership or commitment of some kind if it's if you know this is definitely romantic out here but if it's not romantic um it's it's just going to be a very healthy connection okay and this is a soulmate union here with the knot of cups this is definitely a love offer coming in <laughs> it's very romantic lover coming in it's a prince charming and true love this person is trustworthy and this person's bringing in a proposal so towards this queen of cups here <laughs> The Knight of Cups is Cancer Pisces Scorpio, and the Queen of Cups is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But very motherly energy with the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Queen of Cups. Very psychic and empathic. You're loyal. You're loving. You're caring. You're family oriented. You're you're emotionally intelligent, and you're getting ready to go on a whole new journey here. This is beautiful. So this devil can be like very passionate <laughs> energy. It doesn't always have to be bad. It's a new start. You're taking a risk and a leap of faith. With the Hierophant here, this could have to do um, with the justice system. It could be a marriage. Being a teacher and guiding people. Receiving and giving spiritual guidance could have to do with spirituality or religion, education, institutions. We've got the hermit on the split. <laughs> this could be an investigator here or someone that works in the justice system. It's also it's Virgo energy. The Hierophant is Taurus. The Fool is Pisces and Aquarius. But the Hermit is also a spiritualist and it's alone time and searching your soul, being introverted and meditating and going within and, and uh, overcoming those temptations that could bind you in any way. What else do I need? I'm going here. Let's see what we need from here. We're going to close out. This is awesome. This is beautiful energy. <laughs> Extraordinary experiences. The moon in the ninth house of Sagittarius. I see. It's 
being witty and straightforward, being inquisitive and objective, goes where grass is greener, dreamy, believer, feeds on thought, imaginative, interests fade fast, and being honest. You cannot lie or play mind games, but you are not a big fan of emotion or intimacy. So while your mind runs deep, your relations seldom do. So you've got to be able to allow love to come in and you've got to go in and heal that aspect of the being. So whenever new love does come in, um, you know, just use your discernment, choose wisely. But this is a beautiful loving union that's coming in. So don't allow fear to block, you know, this new union that could be coming in for you. We've got leadership sun in the 10th house of Capricorn I use professionally oriented authoritative won't take orders political acumen motivated worker ambition status constant improvement and gets it done you accomplish great things because of your drive to achieve status and success you can be hard to please as few people can match your high ideals <laughs> So, don't be too demanding. Understand that, you know, everyone is their own person, okay? And don't be too hard on yourself or on others. Constantly improve yourself for sure, but um, don't be extremely critical. Allow, you know, to appreciate someone's differences. And don't put such high standards on people that, you know... I mean, you definitely need high standards, but don't make it to where it's impossible for someone to enter into your life, you know. Intense desire. The sun in the eighth house of Scorpio. Hate superficiality. Magnetic power. What lies beneath. C compelling change. Into anything taboo. Spiritual. Sex. And constant search for self-improvement. There you go. Your thirst for knowing and desire for intense experiences compels you to, to create drastic changes so you can experience rebirth on a higher level. There we go. I like that. On the bottom of the deck, Uranus in the first house of Aries. I am. Seeking personal liberation. Uncontainable. Constant makeovers. Impulsive instincts, sporadic life path, for sure. Easily bored, needs freedom or needs freedom to express. Soul driven to discover a new life path. Your deep need for personal freedom will only be uh, satiated by releasing limitations you put on yourself, allowing you to create your own special destiny. So you're experiencing extraordinary experiences stepping into a leadership role becoming the leader of your life <laughs> you're taking action and going towards a new union you have intense desires that's getting ready to come in and uh, it could be overwhelming so we've got communication on the other side here sun in the third house of Gemini I think intellectual desires change of scenery getting ready to relocate I'm telling you um, acute mental agility endless curiosity oh I have endless curiosity I don't know about you guys <laughs> gets a jump start adaptable capable hyperactive has to be in the know I have to know what the fuck's going on and if I don't know I'm going to figure it out and I won't stop until I do <laughs> competency communication and understanding are highly important to you but take care not to come across as a know-it-all to others <laughs> no take it <laughs> that's awesome okay guys so let me see if i'm drawn to anything else let's get an animal totem here i'm drawn here and let's see what spirit has to say from here we're going to close out The badger with endurance. Whatever you seek, your tenacity and faith will be paying off. Know that no matter the temporary outer conditions, you will manifest your desires in divine timing and in the form that is best for you. Exactly. Everything happens exactly when it should in divine timing. 
The blue jay is intuition. You are encouraged to follow your feelings and intuition. This is a reminder that your personal power is in your own hands and that you are free to take flight at any time if you find yourself in a situation that doesn't suit you anymore. And that would be coming out of that devil energy right there, right? On the bottom of the deck, we have the B, productivity. It is time to examine your productivity. Disorganization and indecisiveness may be causing you to miss opportunities. Take a moment to prioritize your goals and get a clear view of how to get where you want to go and what it will take to get there. That's awesome. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, I had to look. Spirit told me to. We've got the cougar with leadership, so we've definitely got a lot of leadership going on here. Okay. So this, this person that could be coming in in this Hierophant energy could definitely be a leader in their position, you know, in the justice system or whatever. They may not work in the justice system, but whatever this person, the man holding a coin and you as the woman holding a coin, you could both be a leader in your profession or just your leaders, you know, you've taken leadership over your life. You have come into your own power. There it is. You're stepping into your power. Now is the time to take the lead of a situation and be strong. Using the power of intentions, be clear with your purpose and define where you are heading. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Spirit. All right, guys. So this is going to be our reading. You've got something new and beautiful coming in here. Um, just take this how it resonates and... I'm so excited about this. This is beautiful coming in. And whoever this person is that's coming in, they're going to, they're crazy about you and you're going to be crazy about them. All right, collective. I love you guys. Bye.